right, everybody, welcome back to the Toy Cave. Yay! And this is our show, The Misadventures of Tim and Sin in Toy Hunting. So, what we have today, I'll have to say... Is a dog that is squeaking his yeah, toys. Yeah, we got, we got little Rex. <laughs> so, um, what we have here is a double haul. We got a Target haul and a Walmart haul, and they're the Motus. We have the Revelations, and then we have the um, Origins. So These are actually multi-day, multi-stores. Yeah, we did not buy these all at once. Yeah. We just got back up on having to shoot our videos because of life. Yep. Life does take more. I mean, we both have to work. How else do you think we could afford these? So, this is a uh, more than just one haul yeah. from different stores. Master Universe Origins. So, first one. Okay, I really don't care about the backs. It's going to get open. It's going to get open. As you can tell from back there. <laughs> yeah. Um, first one. How's that? Right there? Right there? Right there? Right there? Right there? Stop. <laughs> so, first one we have here is uh, Jitsu. I never had Jitsu because I didn't even know he came out. This was one of the later figures in the line. But I never, I know I never had this one because when I seen it in some videos, boom. But he actually goes good with Fisto because they both have big hands. Next, I think this is Cindy's because her and her Evelyn's. Evelyn. And I already have the other Evelyn, the yellow one, which is more of the old style. This is the comic book style. Yeah, she's mine. So we also have this Evelyn right here. And don't forget, these are, they might look like the original ones, but they have more articulation. Whereas the original ones only had the... Uh, was it maybe six points of articulation? You had the waist twist, you had the arms that move up and down, the head turned, and the legs moved, and that was it. But this one, on these old, on these new uh, origins, you can bend their elbows, you can turn their hands, you can bend their knees. It's a lot more articulation in these, which would have been so much more fun when we were kids. <laughs> more posability, so. Evelyn, and I think Sin wanted this one? Yes, I or did. Or does she have one already? Nope, I wanted it. Well, this one's going to have to stay in here because I don't have oh, one Oh, so rude. So, this is the Sorceress, and those of you who have been collecting these know that there is a special edition Sorceress where she's all white that comes with the Castle Grayskull for the um, Origins figures. And so she almost really looks like just the original sorceress again i've never had this one in my collection when i was younger i did i never even knew existed um she does come with everything that the old sorceress came with her little wings and she also comes with the uh, staff but again the elbows knees and the hands twist so there's more articulation in these more posability if you have seen sin's uh videos of me doing our new the update of the toy cave i have them over here and they have a lot more posability i have them posed in so the other one i did have is buzz off um he comes with everything still uh articulation comes with the wings comes with the b head i guess um and i even think he comes with the what was that a, a axe that he came with so these are actually really quick and short, easy to talk about. Unless you want to know more, I would highly recommend going and watching um, Pixel Dan. Pixel Dan goes through a lot of Motu figures. And he's in even detail. got that book. And he has a book out that goes even more in depth in yes. all Masters of the Universe pictures, um, diagrams, and everything. So I would highly recommend watching um, Pixel Dan for anything Motu. Um, that gets you in more in depth in characters and when things came out. So, shout out to Pixel Dan. And now you know. <laughs> and if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> so, next we have is a deluxe figure. This is Clamp Champ. Again, another figure I never had. I'm finally getting figures that I never had. Um, Clamp Champ has this a big clamp. 
<laughs> That's why he's called Clap Chap. Um, I think, I want to say this is like one of the first uh, African-American figure, or, you know, Motu figures, because I don't remember any other ones in there. So this is pretty cool. And his armor almost is just a repaint of Fisto's. So um, I don't, oh, and he comes with another head sculpt. And he comes with uh, exchanging the clamp that he comes with. So we got champ clamp. Uh, next is Stratos. We are able to find this Stratos all over the place. When we first originally got him, you could not find him. And you're wondering why is he white and not gray? Because this Stratos is actually from the cartoon or the comic book um, Stratos from that you originally got in the first original 1980s Masters of the Universe because they all came with little comic books. So this is a um, homage, as some people I've heard say, an, an homage. homage to the comic book style. So this one, he's probably not going to get an opened up because I already have a Stratos. So we got that comic book style Stratos. And last but not least, we have another deluxe figure. This is Mosquito. Um... I never had this one as a kid, and from when I've watched Pixel Dan, this he always says that this was his favorite figure that he had, and it does have the the action as the original, where he has the pumping blood in his chest. Um, he comes with extra pieces. You have like a, looks like a claw, but it's supposed to be like a blood effect to go and grab a figure. Then he has a another head change or a swap, and then a gun, and looks like. With a hand so this is everything that he comes with um i never had this one so i've never even seen this one i like it i think it looks pretty cool cindy loves getting bit by mosquitoes oh yeah <laughs> so anyways now we're going to get to the target um revelations figures so this first figure and mind you disclosure these were not all at once um first figure Hard figure to find. And I got it. This is not the uh, special edition one. Because I believe the special edition one had something different. I want to say it had something to do with his uh, spear. The spear was another color or glowed or something. But this is the latest wave to be released. So we got this Who guy. Who else do we need to look out for then? Well, this is the last wave that came out. There's a new oh. wave about to come out. So we're caught up with all the waves. Oh, cool. Except for the new wave that's going to be getting released. Who's which... in the new wave? New wave music? Like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> no. Oh. Um, the new wave, I know they have a new Tila where she's got her long hair and it's a uh, half shaved, half long kind of style. Um, Merman, I think... And I can't remember what the other ones were. Okay. So those are the two that I know because those are the two that I know I want. Mm. <laughs> so I did get Scareglow. Um, Scareglow is actually a really popular character. I think it's just because it's a skull. Um, if you guys seen the Kevin Smith uh, Netflix show, you know Scareglow is in Under Ternia or Pre Ternia or right? I can't remember what it was. Pre Ternia is heaven and. Uh, underworld subternia that's what it is subternia is like hell i guess so he's one of the rulers of hell so yeah glad to have found him finally another figure that is in the wave was uh andrea or under andrea andrea uh in the netflix fa uh, wave or andra yeah oh yeah there you go andra <laughs> <laughs> um in the netflix show she was um tila's friend that helped her with the was it bounty hunting and treasure collecting and basically she was like tila's sidekick so i did find her she is in the scare glow wave we got her now yay um who else was in that wave i can't remember I know I have it up here somewhere. So, this was part of the first wave, Beast Man, and I, for some reason, Beast Man has always been one of my favorite uh, villain characters. Um, I just think he looks cool. Um, 
in the original, what is it called, Filmation cartoons, I think he was like a real pushover or weenie because Skeletor always mistreated him and he pretty much took it. <laughs> but now in the uh, Netflix show, he's basically, uh, what, Evil Inn's henchman because he actually has a, a love for Evil Inn. So he's a lot more meaner and uh, ferocious in this series. That's one thing I like. So he comes with a bunch of different hands and of course his famous whip. So this is series one. Um, another figure that was part of series one was uh, Spike Orr. I did have him growing up on, and if you know anything about some of the older Motu figures, see what we have there, the like pushed in spikes or whatever down the middle of his chest. There was one spike missing. And then of course there was another figure where the spike was there. So this, this was pretty cool. He, they actually made it so it was more filmation style. Uh, he has all his regular accessories, the, what is that called, a mace, and then his little spikes that come out of his hands. Um, not much on this character other than that little tidbit of knowledge about him having a missing spike or having the spikes. Still part of wave one, we got the Tila, who when, if you guys have seen the Netflix show, she left the king, the palace and became a what bounty hunter treasure hunter um this is the one i was saying she has the uh short hair on one side long hair on the other one of the new figures is we get the finally the old style tila with the long hair and another head swap where she's got the crown um i prefer that tila over this tila to me she looks a little more manly <laughs> in this one um but yeah, all in all, it looks like she comes with pretty decent figure or uh, accessories, extra hands and her little weapons and stuff. I know Cindy liked this, Tila. <laughs> oh yeah, huge fan. No. Um, a lot of people did not like the first season of the Netflix show, mainly because it seemed it was too too girl power. It should have been He Man. There was more no He Man, more Tila. Well, if you go and see the second part of the season, it keeps going on to the thing where it shows why it was the way it was. So, this is another figure that was in Wave 1. Um, of course, Tila's father, Mad at Arms. Um, her mentor and Prince Adam's mentor, Duncan, as they call him, who is actually a specialist in all weaponry. That's why he's called Mad at Arms. Uh, comes with all his normal weapons. He's got his body armor on his shin, on his arm, and his chest, and then he comes with this big ass mace. <laughs> hmm. Um, this is one figure I still want to get from the what is that? What are those ones called? The uh, Mondo, the Mondo tw 12 inch. Oh, yeah, I need to get him to add to the collection. So, okay. Easy there, Rexy boy. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get up there. As soon as I said action, he just boop. Thump. <laughs> Where'd you come from? He's uh... like, I want to be part of it. I want to be part of the show. No, you gotta be down there. So also next, um, I don't say I don't think it was in the wave one. Maybe in between wave one and two, or part of wave two, we have the two pack figures. So this one right here, if you watch the second part of the show, I was just looking at the back. Um, you see that He-Man actually turns into a savage He-Man, and this also comes with the Orko figure. So now we also have Orko, and then this is the savage He-Man, which I don't really want to tell you guys if you haven't seen it yet, because that was actually different. Something we've never even seen from the original cartoon show. Yeah, so yeah, we have him. You know, you could probably also pass him off as like maybe a Tarzan figure or huh. or um, those of us that are Marvel fans, you, uh, 
what's his name? Uh, Thor? Kar K Kazar? Or not K yeah, Kazar. Oh. The jungle man that it's, uh, he's in the um, dino world. So, like the land before time. <laughs> but yeah, he can be used in different other places other than just your Motu figure just because he's blonde, buffed, and just has a loincloth. <laughs> so, I did pick him up. We are able to find him all over the place. When we first got him, he was the only one that was there. It was harder to find him. And then, last but not least, that are in the... I guess it's a deluxe pack. This isn't a double pack because you, you still have the same one guy, but then you have a different change of outfits. Um, is Triclops. And somehow, some way, Triclops, they never actually show... They talk about it. He turns into like a like a priest of some kind of a cult. <laughs> oh Lord, I haven't seen the second half yet. I was, you know, somewhat disappointed with the first half, but I might have to go back and watch the second half of this then. So so far, we have had three different deluxe figures. We have the Triclops, and then we have the Savage He-Man and Orko, and then of course Faker. Which we have already. Yeah. <laughs> the only other one that's supposed to be coming out soon that we need to look for is the trap jaw. And the trap jaw is going to be just like this. He's going to be trap jaw with a change of outfits. So that's what we got in this haul of, I guess we can call this a Motu haul from different times, different stores. Um,. And I didn't forget anything else. I'm trying to look on my <laughs> look in my area here. Nope, we're good. We are good this time. <laughs> Rex, you stay down there. Don't try and jump up again. All right. So that being said, you know, help us out as much as you can. And we're not asking for much other than just subscribing, liking, ringing the bell, sharing with your friends and trying to have them subscribe and just keep building our little channel to becoming a bigger channel and we can all just enjoy the funs of toys um i know we do lives and cindy likes to respond back or i like to respond back i love talking toys i love talking comics um so come on on one of our lives and check it out uh you can also follow us on instagram uh, well, on Instagram, what do we do, Sin? We do a lot of our, on our Instagram, we do a lot of giveaways. We tell you about promotions going on that's happening in other stores. If I catch wind, if, uh, a comic movie is asking for extras, uh, like Marvel is or Marvel was, depending on when I'm able to upload this video, you would have known about it and you could have applied. So, yeah, we do a lot of stuff. Tim eventually is going to start doing toy hunting because I cut him off from my bank account. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen um, his toy room, uh, the, you know, exploring it. You... It's, it's starting to get claustrophobic in here. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, he's still going to do toy hunting, though. Mm -hmm. But probably not as the um, degree that I have been. Yeah, he's he's cut off from my bank account. <laughs> So, um, also what we do is we go to conventions. Um, this weekend was supposed to be WonderCon, but we really didn't see anything too interesting to go to WonderCon. Um, we were ready to buy tickets and... Just, and the hotel. Yeah, and we just weren't interested. So, I know the next convention that we are big time going to is going to be monster palooza in june actually the next one coming up is comic revolution well, i said next one that we're going to be excited for you're not excited for comic revolution uh comic revolution. you were trying to get me to buy a lot of stuff there too oh yeah but <laughs> but monster palooza, monster palooza is going is, to be that's coming the back business. with a force yeah after two years of not performing because of covid so they're coming back oh. with a Smackdown! If you're all into horror and stuff, that is the convention to go to. Yes, and if you guys aren't able to go, you can go with us via... And this is why we need you guys to become subscribers and to follow our Instagram, one or the other. Or you could do both, because we would really love to get press passes. And the <laughs> only way to do that, to yeah. get 
interviews and exclusives and and people bring you in closer to the con yeah and vendors are going to be willing to give us stuff to give away to you guys yeah and the only way we can do that is by showing we have the numbers so please help us out we're That's not asking for money we're just asking for subscribers support our channel with subscriptions and likes and comments yeah and thumbs up and ringing the bell and shares Yes. Um, what else is there? Just do the YouTube thing for your favorite creators or YouTubers. I don't really call myself a YouTuber. I just call myself a toy hunter or toy collector. Yeah. Um, that being said, we are just happy for you guys to come and join us. Spare time that you have. Everybody's busy. And uh, just remember, who cares what people say, what you collect? You collect what you like. And always enjoy the hunt. See ya, pals.